Good morning, everybody. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And uh, good morning, and I hope you are ready for today. So uh, for today, we will continue chapter six, which is uh, uh, the last chapter before you proceed with uh, Dr. Yuh. So I already mentioned Dr. Yuh that uh, he will ready any time. So I guess next week you will start chapter seven. So for today, we will learn about the previously chapter one and the chapter five is all about the theoretical in organic chemistry, the basic theoreticals. And chapter six actually is between theory and application. So this is uh, regarding chapter six. Nothing much we can uh, do about chapter six is kind of introductions of organic reactions. Okay, so this is a few things that you have to understand regarding the organic reaction. So, um, so, okay, this is the line for chapter six. So we will learn about the writing equations for organic reactions, kind of organic reactions. It's, uh, the third one is uh, bone breaking and bone making. It's quite important, okay. And the fourth one, bone uh, dissociation energies, five thermodynamics, okay, six enthalpy and entropies. Uh, the seven is quite important because we will learn again this uh, in this energy diagram in chapter seven or eight, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and uh, energy diagram for two step reactions uh, mechanisms. Uh, last one is uh, kinetics, and the both uh, ten and eleven is about a catalyst and also biocatalyst, which is referred as enzymes. So. Um, Organic reaction is a heart of organic chemistry. So it's well known about this one. Virtually, virtually all chemical reactions are woven together by basic themes. Okay. So begin uh, looking for the electron rich and electron deficient sites. Okay. So at the functional groups and for reacting molecules. And they are often location of bond and might be easily broken. Okay, for example, the easiest examples uh, halogen groups, okay, they have a, we can see the electron rich sites and a deficient sites. So it, that's why halogen groups are favorable to do uh, eliminations in elimination reactions. So we will learn also how the reaction take place. Uh, it does occur in one step or a series of steps. So and th this for this one, uh, for this uh, first year, we already covered only one step or two step reactions. That's all. Okay, not multi step. So uh, for the writing equation in organic chemistry, writing the equations. So equation for organic reactions are usually drawn with a single arrow. Okay, this is from uh, from between starting materials and products. Okay, this is the arrows. Okay. So the second is the reagent of the chemical system, which while an organic compound react, is sometimes draw on the left side, okay, which is this one. Reaction to with another reagent. Okay, in this case, this is another reagent or reagents we use, which is uh, cyclizing and also bromine. We call this bromination process. Okay, so in another time, reagent is draw below above the arrow or above the arrows. Okay, below and or above the arrows. So, for example, like this, we have two. Okay, and the all solvent is uh, some often omit from the equations. Most of the organic reaction take place in liquid solvent, in liquid phase. That's why we need a uh, solvent. For example, in this case, they are state only CCR4, uh, carbon tetrachloride. Okay, function as a solvents okay in these reactions bromination reactions they are using this one is like ultraviolets or this is a triangle for temperatures okay okay the way of organic reaction this is kind of summarize how you can write the uh, organic reactions okay make sure you know uh, sometimes uh, solvents that we reduce uh, they need a temperature or room temperature reactions. Okay. The symbols usually whether they use heat or uh, ultraviolets. Okay. So um, that's all. Okay. 
What's next? So what equation for subsequent reaction? So there are two sequent reaction in this case, for example. So okay, they have the first reactions here, and this one is the second reactions. So this conversion, uh, conversion scenario <coughs> that the first step occur before the second step, and the reaction are added in sequence not at the same time. So for example, yeah, okay, for examples, we doing gradient rations. This one we call gradient rations, double price winning rations. So we are doing um, maintain magnesium bromide first, okay, and after that, after the ration complete, we proceed with the adding water. Okay, so and you will get this kind of product. Okay. This is kind of an, an example. Okay, chapter six is not uh, difficult because it's just an introduction. So, really, really, no worry. Okay. So for substitution reactions, okay, substitution reactions, okay, substitution reaction with an atom or groups replaced by another atom, replaced and groups. Okay. So in general, substitution why? Y replaced by Z, okay, on carbon atom. So that's why we call substitution reactions. So for substitution reaction, it involves a uh, sigma bonds. Okay, it's mean one sigma bond is breaking and form another sigma, sigma bond. It's not pi bond, okay, sigma bond also. So in this case, uh, Okay, in this case, for example, uh, this is a new profile. Okay, attack the iodines. Okay, so they will break this bond, sigma bond, and we form a new sigma bond. Okay, this is why we call substitution reactions. For elimination reactions, okay, the reaction which is element of <coughs> loss of pi bond, loss of loss uh, <coughs> a sigma bonds and form a new pi bond. Okay, in this case, uh, you will break for the transformation for alkene to alkyne, so uh, you will break two. Sigma bond and form a pi bond. Okay, in the elimination relations, two group X and Y are removed from the starting material, and two sigma bond are broken in this case and form one bond one pi bond okay this this is the easiest way we will learn about this one in chapter nine mm, yes chapter nine okay soon okay. addition generations is uh, element are added to static material okay to static material so it's mean uh in this case for examples for examples one pi bond okay is broken okay to add the new <coughs> functional groups and in this case they are from two sigma bond okay mm, okay this is another example for uh, bromin uh, br br <clears throat> Bromination process, okay, uh, by using hydrogen bromide. So uh, and this is um, the uh, addition additional process for adding water in acidic acidic media. So I think it's uh, quite easy for this one. So okay, the relationship uh, between addition and elimination. So, okay, addition and elimination are exactly opposite. Okay. So in this one, okay, pi bond is formed in elimination reactions. Okay, pi bond from elimination reactions. 
where is uh, the addition uh, addition rations by bond is okay this can be represented by this okay ration mechanisms okay the ration mechanism is a detailed description and how 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 the big how bond is broken and formed as a static material is converted into into products so the ration can occur um, either in one step or series of step but in your levels there is only one step or two step rations that's all okay so uh, for example this is one ration called concerted rations concerted rations no matter how many bonds are broken are formed the static material is converted directly to the products it's a e transform directly to the b Okay, a step one ration is involved than one step ration. More than one step ration. Okay, a static material is first converted to unstable intermediates, and we call reactive intermediates. This one you will see more in chapter seven and chapter eight. Okay, which then goes to the products. Okay. It means they are for converted one to converted to A to B, but they have to form the reactive intermediates. Different, this reactive intermediate usually we cannot isolate or separate it, but we are comparing with the theories. Okay. So bone breaking homolytics. Okay. Yeah. Homolytics. Okay. Regarding how many step of uh, in in directions, there are only two way. Okay. There are two way break uh, break the <clears throat> break the bonds. Okay. Break the bonds. The first one. Electron can be divided equally. Okay, we have a pair of electron here, so divided equally. So orang dapat satu, one electron, one electron. Okay. So this one we call homolytic or homolysis cleavage. Homolysis or homolytic cleavage. This one we are refer as a radical. Okay. In this case, the, okay, okay. in this case, this one represent as a pair of electron, maximum bonds. So half a dead hook give you one electron. So this one half spin, this one you have another half spin. Yeah, matriculations, A level, STPN, and you will see half spin or half spin. Right? Divided equally, or oh, like that. Okay. Can be illustrate, illustrated by this figure. So they, they are using half headed arrow, not full headed arrow. Okay, half head. Okay, this one is correct. Okay, because it's one electron here. So if you use two headed arrows, it's okay. Simple. Okay. So homolysis generate two uncharged species which, uh, with unpaired electrons. Uh, this is reactive intermediates. Okay, very reactive, and eh? because these reactions that we are in st we study in our groups now, eh? it's about radical. Memang uh, not naughty. Eh? We cannot control the reactions. We just with what products we get after the reactions. Okay, so continue. Okay. So uh, for the second one is her heterolytic, heterolytic, heterolytics. Okay, uh, breaking the bond unequally dividing an electron between two atoms. Okay, we call heterolysis and or heterolytic cleavage. So when two atoms have different electronegativities, the electron end up two more electron uh, end up more electron negative atoms. Okay. Okay, for example, we have this one. This is uh, about anion and cation. Anion charge. Okay, for example, so in this case, it can be a electrophile and a nucleophile. This one can be a electrophile. Okay, in this case, they are using full headed pair. 
Okay, follow header arrow curve arrow show the movement of electron pair. Okay, in this case, as shown as figures. Okay, uh, C Z bond join a carbon cation or a carbon anion. Okay, carbon cation usually unstable intermediate contain a carbon surrounded by six electron, and carbon anion is unstable intermediate heavy negative charge carbon which are not very electronegative atoms. This is just a definition of carbocation and carbon. So reactive intermediate resulting by breaking CZ bonds. This is kind of um, summarized, okay, how we can break and make a bonds. So for example, this one, the first one is the homolysis. They are using, um, we call an name, name is uh, uh, radicals, okay. You are using half headed arrows to, to show the movement of electrons. Uh, for this one, okay, this one is the heterolysis. Okay, this one is heterolysis. We are using full headed arrow to represent how we can move the um, and electrons. Okay, in this case, we have two species here carbocations. Carbocations is carbo anions. Okay. So radical species is quite reactive, okay. Okay, bone breaking intermediates, radicals and carbocation are electrophiles. Uh, we will learn chapter two, right? Uh, check balik apa maksud electrophile. Because they can contain electron deficient carbons. Okay, meanwhile carbocation is a profile, chapter two. Because they can contain carbon with a so this one is uh, electrophile. This one electrophile also. This one is bone forming they are formed in occur in two way uh, two different way the first one is two radical can each donate one electron this one is the the case for the two radicals okay radicals and uh, two ion with unlike charge with different charge can come together with the negative charge ion donating both electron to form a resulting two electron bonds okay this is the explanation for Second one, okay. This one, the first one, and this one is good. Chapter is boring, okay? Yeah, that's a boring. So, bond formation always release energies, okay? So, gila arrow. So, okay, as a summary, okay, arrow that we use in organic chemistry. So, the summary arrows type of uh, chemical reaction. This is the arrow reactions that we show. This is, uh, for example, uh chemicals or reagents will give you the products okay double reaction arrow equilibrium arrows this is what we use mostly in chapter two if you remember right and double headed arrow this one is what we usually use in chapter one in resonance okay and full headed arrow curve arrows and half headed curve arrows this is what we you will use in in chapters seven until eleven okay Okay, more. Okay, bone dissociation energy. Okay, bone dissociation energy is energy needed to homolytic cleavage uh, or covalent bonds. Okay, so because bond breaking requiring, okay, as usual, bond breaking need energies. Okay, bone dissociation energies are always positive numbers, and homolysis is always exothermic. Exothermic, it means release the energies okay so differently bone formations okay always release energy always uh, release energies okay and as this one is a uh, exothermic exothermic is a uh, release the energy endothermic is require the energies okay so uh, ever energy decisions with uh, hash hydrogen bonds for example hash hash bond requires okay Okay, yeah. Requires uh, positive four 
135 kilojoules per moles, and it will release around negative 435 kilojoules per mole when forms. Okay, this is uh, when you try to break the bonds. It's a uh, certain equations. It's a uh, uh, ready corrections okay we give you one electron each okay so for example this one when they are try to combine to form a hydrogen again it's a endothermic uh, exothermic reactions okay bone dissociation energies uh, this is uh, the tables okay but i think you don't have to memorize this this one because not much we can ask about the chapter six usually we ask you about the what is the enzyme what is the biocatalyst for example okay and uh, what else uh, how to calculate delta h delta g that's all what we learn for, for chapter six okay so bone dissociation energy and bone strength comparing bone dissociation energy is equivalent to comparing both bone strength so the stronger bone is higher bone dissociation energies okay correct so bone dissociation energy decrease uh, down the column of predictable right yes because they when you try when they are going down to the predictables they will increase the valency of electrons so the interactions between um between uh, electron is quite far so that's why in this case for example iodine uh, iodine have the lowest uh, uh, energies and that's why in uh, elimination reactions we are preferred to use iodine or bromines as the uh, as the good living groups okay Generally, shortened bond are stronger bonds. So in this case, uh, fluorine is um, the number of electron valency is uh, decrease uh, is decrease compared to chlorine and bromines. That's why and the the bond between carbon and fluorine is the higher decision, and it is it's around four hundred fifty six compared to the carbon and uh, iodine is around two hundred fifty. Enthalpy change in reactions. Bone dissociation energy are used to calculate the enthalpy change, uh, which is delta H in reaction with several bonds are broken and formed. Okay. Delta H is uh, when delta H is positive, okay, more energy is needed to break the bonds. Okay. More energy, break the bonds. There is a release of forming the bonds. The bonds break if the static material are strongest. Stronger than the bond are forming in products. Okay, when delta H is uh, negative, negative more energy release. Okay, this is needed. This one is released to forming the bond is needed to break the bonds. The bond from the products are stronger than the bond broken in the starting material. So I already post a, a new exercise for chapter six. Okay, there is uh, explain all together about the data H positive or data H negative. Okay. Try to do that. Okay, so how to calculate the data H overall enthalpy change is the sum data H of broken uh, bond broken plus. Okay, it's a sum of data H bond forming. So this is kind of the considerations. Uh, about delta H for the rations, okay. For examples, a bone broken, okay, it's around 829 kilojoules per mole. And after we calculate the bone forming, it's an around minus 832. Okay, overall delta H, this is how you can calculate. Okay, the answer is negative 3 kilojoules per mole because delta H, this is kind of just a vector. Because delta H is a negative values, okay, you can make a conclusion is exothermic reactions. Energy is released. Okay, the bond broken in static material are weaker, the bond forming in products. This is kind of conclusions. So enthalpy change in oxidation reactions. 
solution so i pun tak tahu kenapa pen i jadi macam ni okay for example the oxytin okay isoctane so uh, we burn in oxygen we give you carbon dioxide and water and this one the energy release is around 5447 kilojoule per mole okay negative is released and for this one for the glucose eh, when in our body they are burned with oxygen they will give a similar carbon dioxide and water the energy is around 2872 kilojoule per mole and that in this case delta h is negative for both oxidation so both reaction is exo Okay. okay, this is kind of conclusions. Both uh, isooctane and glucose release energy on oxidations because the burn of products are stronger than the bond of reactants. Okay. Limitation of bond decision energy, bond decision energy present overall energy change. Okay. The overall nothing but the reaction mechanism or how fast okay not re reveal nothing but the reaction mechanism or how fast reactions proceed so we will learn about this in detail in chapter 7 and 8 because you will learn about the substitution and elimination reactions okay okay bone dissociation energy are determined from uh, for the reaction in the gas phase, where is most organic reaction occur in liquid solvents, where is solvation energy distribution to the overall entropy of the reactions. Okay, because usually technically bondation energy is happen in gas phase, but in organic chemistry, we are doing in solvent liquid phase. Okay, so uh, using bondation energy to calculate delta H give the useful. Uh, approximations we just the approximations of energy change that occur in reactions this is uh, what we call um in organic chemistry we have the uh, theoretical chemistry they are using this uh, this kind of calculations uh, to predict the, the, the creation of products there is uh, also the new uh, information about this kind of knowledge uh, we call um the ft calculations they are using computationals to calculate the energy barriers to predict the products. So this is what they are doing now. So this is the basic knowledge that they are using. For example, enthalpy, entropy, dissociation energies, uh, hydrophobicity for the compounds. This is kind of examples they are using. Okay, kinetic and thermodynamics. Okay. For the reaction to be practical, the equilibrium must favor products and must favor. Okay, go for the left to the right. Okay, the interaction rates might be fast enough to form the them in reasonable time. Okay. So these two conditions depend on thermodynamics. They have two terms. The first one is thermodynamics, the second one is kinetic. Okay, the model that we describe how the energy return uh, pro and product compare and what is the relative amount return and product uh, equilibrium. Okay, this is the first one about the thermodynamics. Okay, thermo is a uh, temperature, okay, heat, okay, energies is all about the thermodynamics. The kinetic describe reaction rate, okay, kinetics reaction rate. Okay, how quick reactant are converted to, to products. So uh, kinetic and thermodynamics, equilibrium constant, K equilibriums. Peminat maths, they can suka ni. Eh? Mathematical expressions, the related amount of static material and the product. Okay, this one is the product. Eh, static material. This one. So, this one is okay okay equilibrium can express by concentration of products divided by concentration of static material in this case they have two products here c and d and meanwhile the static material is a and b if they have only a convert to c and d so they will use a as a static material 
Okay, Curly Brims and CAD as a, as a product. Okay, the size of K equilibrium express whether the starting material or products once equilibrium is rich. Okay, so when K equilibrium, so when K equilibrium is more than one, okay, equilibrium favor favor the products. So maksudnya starting material is favor to the product. Okay, this is what we want. K equilibrium should more than one. Okay, equilibrium li uh, lies to the right. Okay, okay, to the products. Okay, and when K equilibrium is less than one, okay, equilibrium forever the starting material. So starting material product creation is not happen. This is what we try to avoid. Okay. So equilibrium is preferable, prefer to go to the to the left. Okay. So for duration to be useful, equilibrium must favor the product. So it's mean we need this one. Okay. So the position of equilibrium determined by the relative energies of reaction uh, reactants and then okay. the equilibrium constant and free energy. So we, we call Gibbs energies. Okay. So delta G okay, is a G naught products minus G naught reactants. Okay. Delta G is overall energy difference between reactants and product. Previously we studied about delta H. Okay, so now we are doing delta G. Okay. Okay. Equilibrium always favor to the species. Uh, species lower energy for example okay for reactant to have favor to the product so delta g should <coughs> should more than zero okay okay equilibrium is uh, less than one okay more reactant stables okay meanwhile uh, uh, for the reactant to go to the products so in this case uh, delta g is a zero K equilibrium is less than one, uh, more than one, more stable products. Okay, this is the what we want. Equilibrium favor for for the product. This is what we want. This is what we try to avoid. Okay, kita tak favor this one. Okay, not favorable. Okay. So relationship between equilibrium constant and free energy, delta G is related with equilibrium K constants by following equations. Okay, this equation tak payah fal. Chapter ni tak payah fal. Okay. So when K equilibrium is more than one, log K equilibrium is positive, making delta G is negative, and in this case, energy is released. And equilibrium for favor the product, so it means starting material will go directly to product. Okay. okay. So when k equilibrium less than one, okay, log k equilibrium is negative, making delta G is positive. It's a uh, contradiction eh, with uh, k equilibriums. The energy is absorbed. K equilibrium favor to and it's this one starting material go to the products and the relation is not not happen this is what we try to talk about okay energy difference and equilibrium the compounds that are the lower in energy have increased stability okay equilibrium favor the products when they are more stable than starting materials okay and because delta G depend on the log K equilibrium, okay, delta G depend on log K equilibrium, log 10, eh? log 10. So a small charge of energy corresponds to the large difference of the relative to the the material in product at equilibrium. So I think this, no need to remember. Okay? If we ask about this question, we will provide the values, don't worry. Tapi chapter 6 biasanya memang kurang lah kita beli soalan. 
because it's just a, a bridge between theory and fundamentals, uh, fundamental and application. So nothing much we can do. Okay. Conformations and equilibrium, mono subsistence size cyclohexanes. Okay, this is chapter four. Exists as two different chair conformation that are rapidly intercorrelated at room from temperatures. So the conformation having the substituents in the room here equatorial. Okay, it's not. Uh, yeah, but if we doesn't want to mention room here, it's equatorial position is okay. It is favored because they have huge area to do. So uh, knowing the energy difference between two conformation permit the calculation amount of equilibrium. For example, um, the, the, the for this one, okay, excel and equal to the positions, the delta G, the difference between two is around minus 12.1 kJ per mole. Okay. Entropy. Nanti kita habiskan ke entropy lah. Eh? Entropy is a measure of randomness of okay. Entropy is measure randomness of the system. Okay, more freedom of motions, there are more disorder in presence at higher temp entropies. Okay, so gas molecule have more freely than liquid. Correct. Okay, gas molecule have more freely than liquid, and that's why gas has a higher entropy. So cyclic molecule have more restricted bond rotations than a cyclic, correct? Cyclic molecules have more restricted bond rotations than similar as a cyclics in our entropy. So entropy is measured as randomness of the system. So okay, entropy increase while the single starting material form two products. Okay, this one for examples. Okay, entropy is favor the products. Okay, entropy decrease when the acyclic, the non-cyclic, okay, non-cyclic compound form a ring because the movement are already restricted. So this is another example. Okay. The entropy is favor direct compared to, to the products. So the role of uh, entropy is a total energy change. We know that uh, the formula is delta G. We already covered this one. Delta H minus T is a temperatures. Okay, delta S. Delta S is a entropy. Okay, the total energy change due to two factors. The change is binding energy and the change in, in this order. So the, the change of the binding energy can be calculated from the bond dissociation energies. Okay, the most reaction that not carry out at higher temperature, the entropy terms is small compared to entropy terms. Therefore, it's usually neglected. Okay, data G is sometimes equal that to data H because sometimes it can be negative okay direction in which data is plays roles okay reaction resulting of increasing entropy is favored data s is positive data s positive when the products are more disordered than the reactants and negative when when product are more disordered okay so entropy change are important when the number of molecules of static material differ from the number of molecules of the products in the balanced chemical equations when the cyclic molecules are cyclized to form the cyclic the acyclic molecules is cyclized to cyclic one and the cyclic molecules are converted to acyclic ones. Okay, this is kind of examples. Okay. And to, uh, in this one, okay, entropy the increase and favor the product because they have you for one reactance, we give you two products. Okay. Okay. And the entropy will decrease, okay, uh, and favor the reactant because the acyclic convert when acyclic to convert it to, to the cyclic one because during the cyclic process, they are more restricted to the motions. 
cyclic, they cannot move uh, freely because we already changed to acyclic to cyclic compounds, similar like this. Yes. Like this. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. So it's okay. We will continue this one uh, tomorrow. Okay. Looking at the corner of your eyes So I pick my heart up off the floor Move my feet closer to yours Catch my breath and I say I'm the one you're looking for baby. So come on, come on, dance a little dance Take my hand, darling, take a chance You be my queen, I'll be your king Show you everything that you've been missing, shorty so come on, come on, dance a little dance Got me in a trance and just one glance So oh, don't wait no more, I'm me, I'm more I'm the one you're looking for, shorty Girl, I see you over there hesitating Deliberating, they keep me waiting On a sign, looking at the corner of your eyes So I pick my feet up off the floor my hips closer to yours Catch my breath and I say I'm the one you're looking for, for So come on, come on Dance a little dance Take my hand, darling, take a chance You be my queen, I'll be your king Show you everything that you've been missing, shorty So come on, come on Dance a little dance Got me in a trance and just one glance So don't wait no more I'm me, I'm more I'm the one you're looking for, shorty I'll be the one you're looking for, shorty. So come on the dance floor and baby, show me all your moves, all your grooves. Shorty, I got something to prove to you. So come on, come on, take a little chance. Got me in a trance and just one glance. So don't wait no more. I'm me, I'm more. I'm the one you're looking for, shorty. So come on, come on, come on. Just one plan, so don't wait no more.